tall tower. All right, we're gonna head up into the tower. Better land it right or you're gonna wind up in the water. Oh, that's cool. Look at all those boats over there. Let's see if I can zoom in some. That thing didn't need much runway at all. Just what people do when the elevator stops, you just hop in this little cage and roll yourself down 114 floors. There's the mac and cheese festival. You can see the reflection, or I guess the shadow of the sign for it. See what we can see down here. Wow. I wonder what the weight limit is on this glass. step down from this tower and go see what the rest of the city has to offer. Now, being down below, we have two lovely grass for a panel to track our problems. Enjoy the ride, Uncle. I love you. Make your way straight to the gift shop and make your life up and running. After the gift shop, that's where you get access to those photos that you've taken from Magic Memory Day back in. They have maple tea. But these are the teas I'm more interested in. Kind of a cool shirt. Problem is, I have a feeling most of these shirts aren't in my size. It's the problem I usually have. That's a cool shirt too. Look at all those t-shirts over there. Problem is, I couldn't find one in my size. I know it's a me problem. It's a moose, by the way. <laughs> Made it out alive. It really was a fun view from the top. This is where the Toronto Blue Jays play baseball. When I was growing up, the local Knoxville team was the minor league team for the Blue Jays. We were the Knoxville Blue Jays. They've changed the name since then to the Smokies and moved the stadium more towards Sevier County, I guess. And then, I don't know if they're even affiliated with, I don't think they're affiliated with the Blue Jays anymore. I think it might be the Cubs or something like that. I may have heard, I don't know. I'm sure there's a lot of people that know a lot more about baseball than I do. Oh, 
like a train yard. Let's see what the double decker bus has to offer us around the city. under this bridge.
that white box is actually meant to look like a pencil case being held up by a giant pencil clouds in all the artistic discipline as it is. Okay, the University of Florida Rank is one of the largest and I am glad you admire that part of the significant on a global scale. Although Lake I see here was founded in 1951, it is a members only club. Although you don't even need a boat to join, you just have to pay their monthly $5,000 fee. But definitely worth it, you get access to over 140 docks. There's also private beaches, swimming pools, tennis courts, and one of very few five-star restaurants in the city of Toronto. So a great place to spend your summers. There are also public docking areas. Uh, just behind us there on Hanlon's Point, an example of one. It's about a dollar and sixty cents per foot of your boat per day. But as we continue through the islands, of course, you can clearly see right now that it's not one big chunk of an island, but several series of them. Fifteen smaller chain islands. I do want to mention as well, just to the people who are standing up on the upper level, if you are obstructing someone's view, you do have to find Now if you're a keen bird watcher, that's become a bit of a hobby for myself. You can see everything from warblers, friends, black crowned night heron, egrets. Swans are also quite abundant on the islands as well. There's two types that you should keep your eyes open for. Perfect timing, yeah, there is a swan just to the right hand side. Now I can see that it has an orange colored beak, so that is a mute swan, not native to the land. It was brought over by British settlers in the 1700s. Those are quite a bunch. 15 Toronto Islands. Some people waving at us here. But this is where you go to do more of your recreational activities. You can see a tandem bicycle. There's lots of barbecue and picnic areas. Boat. I find this kind of interesting regarding the school. It's said that 85% of their students commute every single morning. So many of them actually live in the city on the mainland and they do have to take a boat ride just to go to class. The ferry would drop you on Mill Island, which is just in front of us there. And you can use that white and green colored bridge to the right hand side, the avenue. Ship. There's the big bus we rode on earlier. Actually, that's the one we were on because it's the same tour guide and he said he stayed on that bus. So that is our exact bus that we were on earlier before we got off and took the boat ride and then had... Obviously, I can't show it very well, but there are a group of naked men driving by on bikes and apparently this is a naked bike path. Obviously I can't show it on my videos, but it's of no interest anyway because it's not about t-shirts. I forgot to make a separate closing for the Toronto portion of the weekend where I videoed what we did in Toronto. It was a lot of fun there. It was a very big city. I actually recorded a whole lot more or a couple of hours or more worth of video, but I tried to narrow it down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you wanted to see more, please let me know. I appreciate you guys for watching. I do have another video coming out for the other stuff I did during the weekend that I was in Canada. Hopefully you guys will see that in a couple of days. Thanks for checking it out. I love you guys, and I will see you next t-shirt. Mandy and I found a friend here in Canada. Seems like a nice guy to me.